What was your worst birthday you had? In 2010, my best friend died on my birthday. This year, my mom died 5 days before my birthday. I'm so sorry. Thanks, man. Not sure if it's my worst, but it's definitely top 3. I was turning 9. I had saved my dollars up. Wanting to buy myself a nice birthday present. Birthday was on a Saturday. My mother told me to give her my money, so she could keep it safe. She went and gambled it on the pokers on Friday, whilst I was at school. So I wake up on Saturday to no birthday presents and my money was gone too. That is so ducking shit. My heart breaks thinking of your little face that morning. Not having presents I was accustomed to. My mother was a junkie who never spent money on me, but there were tears when I found out my money was gone. I was a mess. The one where my parents were in the midst of a separation and everyone just kinda forgot about me. What that sucks. Hope you're enjoying your adult life. My mom bought a goat on my 18th birthday and didn't get me anything. I'm sorry but that's kind of funny. My dad was cremated on my 16th birthday. His death was sudden. No birthday since has felt right. I'm 60 this year. I'm really sorry. That sucks. My most recent one. I'm at college, and because of COVID I couldn't drive down to my family. Also because of COVID most of my friends in town went home. I have a full time job so I couldn't. My mom, as a birthday present, said she'd take me shopping when I got home. As I needed some new clothes for when I graduate. She died before I was able to get home. I'm sorry for your loss. We were playing laser tag. One cousin pushed me into a corner and blasted me for an entire round in the next round my other cousin bashed my face with a laser gun. They played the remaining rounds without me since I was preoccupied to having my bleeding face tended to. I told my parents beforehand I didn't want to invite them since they were jerks but they insisted I was overreacting and didn't want to insult the parents by not inviting them. I ducking hate the stories of parents who just invite people the child doesn't want at the party. Fuck that if they feel insulted. It's your birthday and you should choose who comes. This. The only person I invited didn't show up because her parents said no. Then I got to watch the movie we picked out with my mom. Who hated every second of it. Her mom sucked big time. The situation sucked. But at least she tried. I guess. My 5th birthday, I was locked in an unfinished concrete basement with the power off for an unknown amount of hours. Why? I had something wrong, but can't remember what. I do remember my mother being beaten trying to get me out. Needless to say my stepfather was a dick. I have a cousin who was born the day after me. Last year my aunt wanted to host the party for his 21st the day before his actual birthday. So I was forced to spend my 21st birthday celebrating a cousin I've never said anything more than hello to and none of my other relatives who were there acknowledged that that day was my actual birthday. Happy cake day. Had a similar thing happen on my 21st. My best friend decided to have her 21st on my birthday. When her actual birthday was half a month later. We'd spoken about what we were planning on doing, and it said I wanted to have a sit down dinner at a nice restaurant on my birthday, and keep it low key. She said she was having a big party, didn't think much more of it. Got the invite in the post, saw the date of said party, and put a few years worth of puzzle pieces together in my head then thought duck it. I don't need this shit in my life. Declined the invite and haven't spoken to her since. Had some nasty texts arrive leading up to party asking why I wasn't going. How selfish could I be? Can't you put someone else's needs before your own etc that kind of thing. Icing on the cake was getting texts on the day of the party. Remembering that it's my actual birthday. Calling me a selfish bitch. Never replied and cut that whole group of people off as well. Drove to my parents for my birthday and had Indian takeaway and an early night. No friends attended as they were all boozed up at hers. Don't regret a thing. So I mean my birthday was shit. In that I realized my best friend was a selfish piece of self-centered shit actually is. But it was great. In that I finally let go of that horrible relationship and friend group and moved on. I too had something similar happen. Dude who had beef with me. Unidirectional. I wasn't bothered. Threw a party on my birthday. 
Spent a month talking it up in chat groups. Fully catered. Full open bar. DJ. MC. A team of professional photographers. I mean holy shit. The works. It was in fact a success. Almost 200 people showed up to eat and drink for free. He apparently spent well into mid 5 figures. 20 or so friends showed up to the park to have a picnic. Like we always do on my birthday. It was nice birthday. Apparently at the guy's party everyone had decent fun. But it was somewhat awkward because nobody could figure out what the occasion was. When someone commented it was like a wedding without a marriage he exploded and disappeared. Just like this guy. What a weak ass insecure attempt at a power play by your former friend. This year. Everyone forgot. Happy late birthday. Thank you see. Me and my ex-husband had the same birthday. One year I had asked him repeatedly to take the day off so we could go on vacation. He waited till the day of and sent out a email to his boss saying he was sick. I didn't know any of this. I thought he took the day off. We drove about 8 hours to get to a beach resort and when we checked into the hotel they asked him for a doctor's note. He finally told me, but to not worry. He would just go to a CVS and see a doctor. I told him they would still know he lied BC the doctor's note will still have an address of a beach resort town on it. Do we spent the rest of our birthday driving back home. That really sucks. I'm so sorry that happened to you. My dad told me he couldn't be there for my 16th birthday as his friend, mistress, had booked a holiday for them. He told me this in front of my mother, who was still in denial about the fact he was having an affair. When I got upset he would miss my birthday. They both told me I was a selfish little bitch and the world didn't revolve around me. On my birthday my dad didn't even call. Wait a minute. Your dad had the audacity to call you a selfish little bitch for being upset that he was spending it by having an affair with his mistress. Wow. What a selfish cockface. The father is a selfish bitch projecting his bitchiness onto others. Yesterday was my birthday, no joke, and I just woke up sick and had a horrible day. Happy late birthday. Happy cake day yourself. I turned 40 the day Michael Jackson and Farrah Fawcett died. I had to rush my cat to the vet so he would not die of a stroke. Did your cat live? He did for a few more months. I really miss him. When I was 11 my family had planned a camping trip which would take place during my 12th birthday. So we had a birthday party the week before. On the day of my actual birthday, while I was away on the trip, my house was broken into and my new playstation was stolen. Along with all my games. My father found out the day if, but didn't want to spoil the rest of the trip. So he waited until we got home to tell me about it which means he spent half the week hearing me talk about how juiced I was to break in the new games with him knowing they had been stolen and I was probably gonna be crestful and over it. Tough day for me. But I can only imagine how upsetting that experience must have been for my father Mayo. TBH. Your father did a good thing. He didn't want to sour your camping trip experience by admitting it to you. This year was so terrible. I lost my family. The divorce was horrendous. This year for my 30th my husband sprung that he had been contemplating divorce and wanted a separation. For Christmas he abandoned me in another state when I was 5 days out of the hospital. Blocked me on the phone and emailed me for a divorce. 2020 has been a year of unending bullshit. Shit. Sorry to hear that. Hope everything turns out better than it is. My 15th. I just wanted to talk to my bestie, but she was too busy. My mom had just gotten out of the hospital after back surgery and none of my loved ones remembered. I spent the day texting a guy I knew instead. LT. Thanks. It was a really bad day and you made it brighter. I had a birthday in which I invited 30 plus people. And only to showed up. I still cringe thinking back on it. Had a Halloween party once and no one came, except my neighbor, because I went to her house to see if she was coming or not. My 18th. My parents took me to a Penn State football game, even though they know very well I don't like Penn State or football. So we sat in the freezing rain for hours watching a game I didn't care about. I actually tried to see if I could get my hand 
so cold that it lose all feeling, because that was more entertaining. Maybe if I get frostbitten I can finally get out of here. Apostrophe. I threw a party for my 18th birthday. Invited a couple dozen people. One person came. Granted I did it semi last minute, decided to have a party two weeks before, but it was still depressing. Edit, to all the people trying to convince me to be mad at my friends back then. You can stop. Most of the people I invited, said they had previous commitments. Mostly work because they had jobs, and it was a Saturday night. I'm not stupid. I know that some of them probably just didn't want to come. But I'm also not stupid enough to make assumptions, and be petty and angry over something that happened years ago, that I can't say I wouldn't have ever done myself. Two weeks notice is not what I would call last minute. Two weeks is right on the threshold of plan making. Plus that was when I decided to have a party. Not necessarily when everyone got invited, although it was about that time. I don't remember specifically how many, but I know for sure at least. Half of the people I invited told me they wouldn't be able to make it. I'm not naive enough to think it was all just a matter of scheduling. But I also know that there would have been more people if I'd planned better. 18th. All my friends had graduated the year before, and I spent the day alone. In my mid-teens I didn't have a ton of friends, yet and wasn't into parties. Kind of a loner besides my best friend, who had to be somewhere else that night. Had absolutely nothing to do nothing planned. So my dad took me to see a movie and that was the first time I got that feeling like I should be doing something else or FOMO. My dad bought me a box of dots at the theater for some reason. I never ate them and brought them back home. I've kept them in my sock drawer ever since. No idea why. But I see it occasionally and it reminds me of that night long ago. That my family and dad in particular was always there for me. Not that bad of a birthday tbh. 21. My grandpa died a couple weeks prior. The biggest loss of my life so far. As he was the closest thing I had to a father figure. He helped raise me. And I was home alone all day. Because grandma was in a different city. And other relatives were doing their own thing. And I can't drive for medical reasons. And walking somewhere to try and celebrate wasn't really an option. Nor was public transportation due to proximity to the holidays. My sister and I are born a year and 8 days apart. So growing up we would have our parties together. I remember my 10th birthday. Her 9th. About 15 of her friends came. And only one of the friends I invited came. Don't remember much of the party. But I still remember. That feeling of disappointment and sadness. My 18th. I was at college and my family came out. To visit me for the weekend. My actual birthday was Sunday. The day they had to leave. But we did some fun stuff the Friday and Saturday. On Sunday morning. My parents sat me down. And told me my dog had died 4 days earlier. And they didn't tell me. Because they didn't want to ruin the weekend. Then they left. So I spent my actual birthday crying by myself in my room. So hard but I guess they tried their best. They wanted to spend a happy weekend for you. But had to tell you before they left. I'm sorry. The first one after my dad passed in 2015. I'm sorry for your loss. R.I.P. Obligatory the first one. Apostrophe. Off the top of my head. I remember just wanting to play my Xbox 360 with my family in turns. But my sisters were in a foul mood. So I just cried on the toilet. Not tragic. Just sad. I'm sorry. Must have been a crappy day. That was a shit joke. USMC boot camp we did the reaper hike on my 19th birthday. Semicolon. For those of you who don't know, the reaper hike is a 12 mile hike wearing full gear. Through the mountains of southern California. Semicolon. NB4 yes it was in fact uphill both ways. So you two went to my grandpa's school. Ah. Number 23. I just moved out of my parents place into a new city. Not all bad. I had a friend from college I reacquainted with. He even introduced me to a really cute girl that I was becoming rather fond of. After a few months, he had ascended to a really solid best friend status. And signs were looking good between she and I. Told my friend I was thinking of asking her out. And he told me to go for it. 
she'd definitely be down for it. He was so excited to hear it, and really kicked my self esteem into place. Going great. So, I invite them all to celebrate my birthday, we'll meet at a pub, tear up downtown. Hopefully I'll work up the courage, to ask this girl out, too. I'm not really experienced with doing so, but I felt really good about this one. Having my friend's recent encouragement really did do a lot of favors for my confidence and comfort around the idea. I arrive at the pub. I'm 10 minutes late, but no panicked texts, so I assume I'm okay. Well, they aren't there either. Guess we are all running late. I order a drink and get comfortable. Another 20 minutes passes. I decide to give my friend a call. He doesn't pick up. Send a text. No response. After about an hour, I'm now calling the girl. Asking if she's coming. No pick up. Send a text. No response. I'm on drink number 3 in a mostly empty pub on a Tuesday night. My only company a gathering of old dudes and unwinding refinery workers clearly in no mood to socialize. I'm watching the basketball game despite not liking basketball at all. Try whipping up a conversation with the bartender. He listens for a bit, but excuses himself to get back to work. I'll let him be. After 2 hours of waiting, I give last couple calls to my friend. Desperately hoping he picks up. Nope. I call the girl. Nothing. I've accrued a $30 bar tab and am in no shape to safely drive home. So I decide to just sit it out for a bit, but then just feel myself getting sadder. More lonely. Looking probably a lot like the solitary drinkers occupying the stools beside me. Lost in their own semi-inebriated thoughts. And I'm the unfortunate soul closest to the window. In clear miserable view of all the happy meandering couples and groups of giddily chirping friends passing by on the sidewalk. My original plan was to just sober up after a couple hours. But that fell through. I couldn't stand being in there. And after one last call after 4 hours of. Waiting for them to come to my birthday. I just walked home. Took about an hour. But the fresh air and exercise at least made me feel less mopey and downtrodden. There could always be another day. Another attempt. Maybe they had a really good reason. Maybe an emergency. Maybe something that puts things in perspective. I get home. And my friend finally texts me back. Oh. Hey. Yeah sorry. I don't wait for the follow up text. I immediately call him asking him what's up. Okay so I went to go pick up that girl. And I decided I would ask her out. Dude. You got her understand. She was like into it immediately. You won't believe it. We've actually been ducking for the last 4 hours non-stop. Happy birthday to me. Happy birth THDD day. To MME. This is ducking brutal. My cousin got married on my 7th birthday. Everyone forgot about it because of him. And I still resent that because not even my parents remembered. They were busy with the wedding. He got divorced 2 years later. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.